Calligraphy has long been regarded as a distinctive feature of Islamic art. It is essential to its culture because of its crucial role in religion, art and architecture. It is used as a medium of communication, to spread God's message, and give mankind the ultimate knowledge of its creator and what he expects from his creations. The genius of Islamic calligraphy lies not only in its limitless creativity and versatility, but also in the calligrapher's ability to strike a balance between transmitting a text and expressing its meaning through a formal aesthetic code. The arabesque rotund drums, delicate sweeps, curves and statuesque vowels provide fertile ground for playfulness. Many distinguished contemporary artists have used Arabic scripts in their paintings as a base for crafting their images in numerous scripts. An interesting feature that modern calligraphy introduced was that the letters were not always intended to be readable, but still invoke a deeper meaning and communicate with the viewer on both the linguistic and creative level. Calligraphy aims to produce a reaction, just like any quality piece of sculpture or painting. Jamil Nakash has painted calligraphies in his own distinctive, original style. He maintained his originality through a rigorous training of eyes, mind and hands. Jamil Nakash from very early times was convinced that the path to the new and meaningful art could only be achieved by way of deviation arising from fundamental principles. For his calligraphic oeuvre, which comprises more than 2,000 calligraphies, Jamil has inscribed words that possess integrity, harmony, ancestry and rhythm. Nakash has a unique ability to create a theme for his work and use that theme as a point of departure. With a thorough understanding of the various calligraphic styles that the leading calligraphers have employed through the centuries, Nakash first decoded the underlying principle and geometrical formation of alphabets. Jamil was more keen on exploiting the pictorial possibilities of letters without belittling or compromising on the mystical and spiritual significance of calligraphy. Nakash translated this classical art form into a modern linear style. His use of line can be traced to his years of study of miniature paintings with Ustad Sharif. In later years, although Nakash became known as the modern master, the training he received from his Ustad would permeate the rhythm of his work. 
In 1996, he began a series of calligraphic paintings, which later became known as the modern manuscripts. He was so absorbed by the creative possibilities of the inventive script that this work engaged him for years to come. From early in the morning until the evening, he sat cross-legged, absorbed by the interplay of line texture and light. Using the finest of brushes and watercolour as his medium, he imbued his work with an illusion of three-dimensional depth and space. Like his figurative paintings, which Jamil is predominantly known for, his modern manuscripts are also all more than the sum of their parts, which represents admirable proportions with a pleasing relationship between the words and single letters elements. Jamil skillfully explores all the plastic possibilities Arabic letters provide, be it variables of composition, color, value, and spatial relationship. His deliberate repetition of letters also creates feelings of pattern and emphasis within the eyes of the viewer. Each stroke played a crucial role in the visual structure of the painting, in an almost godlike ambition, which made him a rare art maestro of our times. <laughs> 